setting up a Linksys RE1000 wireless N extender to work with your Linksys router or access point allows you to increase the coverage of your wireless home network. Setting up your Linksys RE1000 can be done in two ways, either through the setup CD that comes with the package or through manual configuration. This video will guide you on how to manually install the range extender. Before we begin, let's start off with a checklist. First, make sure that your router is already set up on your home network. Check out our other videos or the FAQ section for instructions. Second, make sure you have the router's wireless network name or SSID, channel width, security mode, and passphrase. To get this information, log into your router's web based setup page. To do this, open a web browser and enter the router's IP address on the address bar. Once the login prompt appears, enter the router's username and password. The default IP address of most Linksys routers is 192.168.1.1, while the default username and password are both admin. If you change these settings, enter those instead. Once you're in, Go to the Wireless tab and set the configuration view to Manual. Look under the 2.4 GHz network and write down the network name, security mode, passphrase, and the channel width. If you have a Linksys Smart Wi-Fi account, log in to www.linksysmartwifi.com using the email address and password you registered. Once you're in, go to the Wireless tool and write down the network name, security mode, password, and channel width under the 2.4 GHz network. Lastly, you'll need a computer. Make sure that the computer has an Ethernet port and is not currently connected to any network. Now we're ready to manually configure your Linksys RE1000. Step 1. Reset the range extender. While the device is plugged in, press and hold the reset button, located at the top panel of the range extender, for 8 seconds. Step 2. After resetting, wait for the Cisco light to become solid and connect it using an Ethernet cable to the computer. The connection should look like this. Step 3. Launch a web browser and enter 192.168.1.1 on the address bar. You will be prompted with a window asking for a username and password. Leave the username blank and enter admin in the password field. Then click Login. Step 4. Click Wireless and select Basic Wireless Settings. Set the radio button to Manual, then enter your router's network name. The radio band is the channel width that you had written down. On the Wireless Security section, select the security mode that matches your router's configuration. Enter your passphrase and click Save Settings. Step 5. Power Cycle the Devices. Unplug the power cable of both the router and the range extender for 30 seconds. Plug in the router first. Wait for all the lights to be stable, then plug in the range extender. Congratulations! You've just succeeded in configuring your range extender. To test your setup, position the extender near a dead spot, then try connecting a wireless device to your network. Once connected, you should then be able to access the internet.